me being a sucker for these retro emulation style consoles, I'm glad to see we're getting a variety of form factors, because in the past we always either had a handheld or a stationary console. The Neo Geo Mini kind of changed things and now we're starting to see things take on that form factor, which makes me really happy. What's going on guys, Ness here. What I have in front of me today is the Retro Arcade FC 360N1. It's basically a miniaturized version of the RS-07 that I did a review on a while back. And I'm not exactly sure what kind of games this thing plays, but let's open up this box and take a closer look at it. Inside the box, we have the console itself. Man, this thing is tiny. We have two controllers, very similar to the RS-07. A USB cable for charging and some AV cables to hook it up to an old television set and a set of instructions and when I say this thing is tiny I mean it's pretty damn tiny here it is compared to the RS-07 retro arcade and as you can see this thing is micro in comparison so the overall design is pretty nice I like the color scheme the red and white you see it's got four face buttons it's got a joystick very similar to the RS-07 and then it's got your start select and reset buttons right on top over on the one side you have your volume rocker and on the other side you have your on off switch the back of the console has too many USB ports as well as the AV output the controllers that come packaged in are virtually identical to the ones of the RS-07 you got the directional pad start select and a six button layout the only major difference is that these things are connected via mini USB as opposed to full size USB. Turning on the console I noticed it had the exact same interface as a handheld that I did a review on quite some time ago called the Retro FC 160 in one. Essentially what that thing was was pretty much a handheld NES slash Famicom in Game Boy form factor. So based on that, I think it's safe to assume that this thing plays Famicom slash NES games. So I was pretty much spot on and this thing has a ton of NES games in its library. One thing I was concerned about was its size being so small that the screen was going to be of poor quality or hard to make out. This was not the case. I was actually very impressed with this little screen. I do not feel my camera does it justice. It actually looked way better while playing. The controls are actually really comfortable. The fact that it has NES games that mainly use two buttons helps quite a bit with this. I also believe this thing was meant to be kind of held like a handheld and played that way, but playing it on the tabletop the way I was doing worked just fine and felt completely comfortable. I was actually fairly impressed with the game library. It had a ton of classics that I loved playing growing up, as well as a few ROM hacks thrown in that weren't that bad to play. Overall, I think this is a pretty well-built machine. So the Retro Arcade FC 360N1. I actually think this thing is fantastic. I thought it was just going to be a shelled out downgraded version of the RS-07, but it's actually not and it stands on its own pretty well. The reduction in size actually makes it a ton more portable and the library actually is pretty decent. It was comfortable to play and retailing at about 30 US dollars, you really can't go wrong in this case. I definitely give the Retro Arcade FC 360 in one, the game had Ness, seal of approval. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.